Planet Dolan. Who got arrested for using Taco Bell food as a weapon? Who served three days in jail for sending a Facebook friend request? Between stupid laws and stupid criminals, here are 10 of the dumbest reasons people got arrested. I'm Danger Dolan, and today I will be your narrator. Number 10. We may never know why Anthony Stollard decided to start walking around a cemetery in the first place. Why he decided to go up to people in the cemetery, waving his arms around, saying, Woo! It's an even greater mystery. There's a good chance it had to do with him being drunk. Regardless of why he did it, he was arrested and fined. Number 9. Threatening to bomb their own wedding. Neil McArdle had three jobs to do to keep his wedding going smoothly. He had to book a restaurant, rent a wedding car, and reserve the venue. Two out of three wasn't quite good enough. Of all the things to forget, he cocked up on reserving the wedding hall, and somehow he didn't notice until the actual day of the wedding. Now this is the part where a normal human would, you know, just admit his mistake, accept the consequences. Not Neil. His idea was to call in a bomb threat on the venue, the historic St. George's Hall in Liverpool. I guess he figured that would be easier, rather than, you know, telling his fiance the truth. Number 8. Using a burrito as a weapon. Nothing says classy like a couple of senior citizens screaming at each other in Taco Bell. 51 year old Susan Hulvert and 65 year old Carl Owen Smith did just that as they were yelling at each other over Smith's alleged alcoholism. The argument escalated to the point where Susan smacked him on the back of the head with a burrito supreme and Carl retaliated by stabbing her hand with a fork. Boy, that escalated quickly. They were both arrested for an assortment of hilarious assault charges. Number 7. Collecting rainwater. Gary Harrington's story is that he was collecting the rainwater for wildfires. He was arrested for violating some kind of obscure regulation. In actuality, he built a bunch of dams on his property to create recreational fishing and boating reservoirs. This dried up the river downstream, and he did it all without a permit. After several legal battles over more than a decade, he was arrested, spent 30 days in jail, and still hasn't taken the dams down. Number 6. Not deleting Facebook. Paula Asher isn't one of the smartest people you're gonna meet. She's the kind of person who makes a Facebook post that says, My dumb bass got a DUI and I hit a car. LOL. The judge didn't think LOL was the right way to react to the situation, so he ordered her to delete her Facebook page. She ignored the order and ended up spending two days in jail for contempt of court. Number 5. Taking a spider hostage. Guy asked his buddy to watch a pet spider for him. Brian Paul Smith said, sure, why not? A few days later, this guy decided to keep the spider. He also decided to suggest that if his friend didn't let him keep the spider and also pay him 100 bucks, he was going to murder the spider with a gun. The most bizarre part is how badly this snowballed for this guy. He was arrested for the spider hostage thing, and then police searched his house and found evidence of car theft, burglary, a stolen Siberian husky, and a 14 year old hiding in the closet. Four years later, he died in prison at age 30. Number 4. Movie Late Fees James Myers Jr. was pulled over for a broken tail light in March 2016, which didn't seem like it'd be a big deal. But after the officer ran his information, a warrant for his arrest came up. The guy had been wanted for 14 years because he forgot to return a VHS copy of Freddy Got Fingered to his local video store. The charges were dropped, but the worst thing for Myers is that the whole world now knows he rented Freddy Got Fingered on VHS and kept it. Number 3. Friending someone on Facebook. When you're on jury duty, you're supposed to be completely neutral and unbiased. You know how you pretty much ruin that? By friending the defendant on Facebook. Jacob Jock tried to friend the attractive young woman standing as the defendant in the case he was in the jury for. The young woman in question shot him down in the best possible way by telling the judge about it, getting him thrown in jail for three days. In retrospect, he likely shouldn't have bragged about beating jury duty on his Facebook. Number two. Not taking a child to prison. When this woman was told she had to let her nine-year-old son visit his father in prison, she thought it sounded like a bad idea. 
The father had been convicted of being a serial rapist and was serving a 27 year prison sentence. She didn't think that was a great environment to take her son into. The judge thought the best response was to send her to Rikers Island Penitentiary for 50 days without bail. She wasn't just sent to a regular old county jail, she was sent to maximum security for refusing to let her son into a prison. The decision was overruled quickly, but not before she had already spent a couple of weeks in prison for basically no reason. Number one, staying logged into Facebook. It would appear that Facebook is one of the more effective crime fighting tools for catching stupid criminals. Nicholas Wig broke into a house in St. Paul, Minnesota to steal cash, credit cards and a watch. Things were apparently going so well, he decided he had time to check his Facebook on the computer in the house. He did not apparently have time to log himself out of Facebook before leaving. Somehow this was his second crime scene that day where he'd left photos of himself. It's almost as if he wants to get caught. So guys, what's the dumbest reason you've ever heard about someone getting arrested? Let us know in the comment section down below. We'll pin our favorite to the top. That is it for this countdown. Have a good one!